Father, I'm so grateful for you. Almost everything is a spiritual analogy. People are flocking to the North Beach Pavilion for the lighting of the Christmas tree. They're counting down. That same jubilant noise because the tree is lit. It's the same noise from New Year's Eve, the same noise from their favorite sports team. Why don't we flock to the gospel like this? I went out for a second just to see how cold it was because I wanted to put some blankets in the trunk and it was super duper chilly. So it's even colder now because it's dark. And people come out, dressed up, excited, great anticipation. Father, I already know the answer. Sin, the flesh, and the devil is keeping millions from receiving the gospel. But God Almighty, your spirit is not bound because you captured my heart and you're the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Denise. And you are at work according to your promise in John chapter 5, verse 17. I ask for it continuously. Forgive me where I shrink you and where I don't see you at work. Forgive me is my prayer. I was just sitting down writing a whole bunch of wild God moments and writing some praises and just thinking about how you're at work. And I put some names down for what you're gonna do because I believe you. And I heard this chatter and I'm like, okay, it's extra noisy outside. And that's when I saw everybody running to the lighting of the North Beach Christmas tree. And now they're all turning around to go back home. Father, in Jesus' name, I declare and decree that you're saving souls now in North Beach, in North Korea, in the North Pole, North Dakota, North Carolina. You're saving souls even now. And with the angels, I rejoice because great is your faithfulness to all of mankind again and again and again. There's the Christmas tree right there. Oh God, thank you for opening my eyes to the meaning of Christmas. I'll never ever forget my first Christian Christmas. I love you, Lord. Thank you for giving us 2021. In Jesus' name, amen.